Morning at 6 o'clock. I'm Priya Mann. And I'm Grant Herms. Thanks for joining us here this morning on Local 4 News today. It was a little nippier outside than I was expecting it to be this morning. It's not even that much colder than it was yesterday, but it feels colder. Yeah, it does. And you know, I was wondering, Grant, Andrew was talking about how we'd have a mix of some cloud cover and sunshine, but I didn't get any of the sun, did you? I didn't either yesterday. I think Andrew kept it all for himself. <laughs> what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to soak it all up, especially as we go over the next few days before any snow arrives. But guess what? It remains dry again today. And I guess I, I think Priya and Grant, you'll have a better chance of seeing that sunshine later on today. We've got enough sunshine to spread around for everybody later this afternoon, but everyone experiencing these cold conditions that Grant and Priya were just talking about. We have temperatures that are in the 20s. Temperatures still slightly below average this afternoon. The average high this time of year now is 39 degrees. We'll see temperatures close to that, mostly in the middle 30s later today, but remaining dry. Still dark, of course, outside, but sunrise less than two hours away at 748. 28 degrees right now. It feels like it's in the low 20s, very similar to yesterday with a wind of five miles per hour. But it's 28 for our friends over in Port Huron. 27 in uh, Pontiac, 27 also in Ann Arbor. 24, a little bit colder in both Adrian and Monroe. Now we see a little more sunshine later on this week. Does that translate into higher temperatures? We'll talk about that and yes, possibly our next chance of showers in our seven day forecast in minutes.